Brian Williams here, along with my little helper. I'm Terry Libel. All right, we're still here in Salt Lake City, Utah, a town so steeped in traditional Mormon values, people blush every time they hear the name Dick Pound. <laughs> In fact, at the last minute, organizers had to scramble to find another location to hold the two-man luge. Apparently, in Utah, it's illegal for two men to be in that position that close together. <laughs> All right, you can leave the jokes to me, Terry. <laughs> well, you know, folks, for most of us, these have been the feel-good Olympics from coast to coast. Canadians celebrated six gold, three silver, eight bronze, and one terrific sweater. <laughs> what was Ron McLean thinking? He was making a clear fashion statement. That's right, Terry, and that statement was, my mother still dresses me. <laughs> All right, these games are over, and Canada walked away with 17 medals. It would have been more, but security was too tight around the medals table. For Canada, one of the proudest moments came when skating pairs Jamie Soleil and David Peltier were awarded the gold medal. It's the first time a Canadian was involved in an Olympic scandal that didn't involve drugs. You know, you're pretty knowledgeable for someone with that much estrogen. <laughs> All right. Folks, after the figure skating fiasco, next Olympics they're introducing a new event, the judge judging competition. For me, this Olympic told many human stories, such as the story of German spectator Helmut Trenska, who became the first straight guy to watch an entire figure skating program. <laughs> In men's hockey, the powerful Swedish team being upset by Belarus which had sports fans worldwide saying the same thing. Where the hell is Belarus? <laughs> and folks, who can forget Wayne Gretzky's unexpected outburst spouting his conspiracy theories that the world is out to get Canada? As a result, the Great One is teamed up with Ruth to model the newest trend in athletic fashion, the Olympic straitjacket. <laughs> All right, I can tell we're almost out of time by the threatening hand gestures Mr. Freelance Director is making. So as we sign off, let me remind you, preparations are already underway for the 2006 games. And here we see the official torchbearer making his way to Turin, Italy. <laughs> so it's Arrivederci Alberto and Godspeed. For Terry Libel in Salt Lake City, Utah, I'm Brian Williams saying so long for now. Chicken Cannon News. Greetings, civilians. I'm Colonel Stacy. Some of my close friends call me Teresa. Our top story, Heritage Minister Sheila Copps has announced plans for an extravagant party in Ottawa this April to honor our Olympic athletes. She said there will be balloons and everything. <laughs> our entire country is encouraged to get together to celebrate a crowning moment in Canadian achievement. Art Eggleton is not invited. <laughs> the troubles for Art Eggleton continue. If the lack of communication between the Defence Minister and the Prime Minister widens any further, the two, by law, will be considered legally married. <laughs> by the way, Mr. Eggleton, if you're watching, we took prisoners in Afghanistan! <laughs> there was a huge protest in British Columbia over Premier Gordon Campbell's plan to cut 11,000 civil servants' jobs and to increase sales tax, school tuition fees, and Medicare premiums. Residents of the province say in nine short months, Campbell has done the impossible made Glenn Clark look good. <laughs> While visiting Australia, the Queen was informed that the Governor General there had been involved in an alleged sex scandal. Unperturbed, Her Majesty said, that explains why instead of shaking my hand, he tried to grab my ass. <laughs> 
Alberta Premier Ralph Klein is opposed to the Kyoto Protocol, which limits emission levels of toxic gases. He said, what do you want me to do, stop breathing? To which the rest of Canada said, go for it, Ralph. <laughs> The Royal Bank has just reported a first quarter profit of $722 million. Officials say they hope things will pick up next quarter. <laughs> in Ontario, Conservative Party leadership candidate Jim Flaherty has proposed to make living outdoors in public parks and streets illegal. His proposal, called Jail the Homeless, matches two other planks in his platform, elect the heartless and appoint the brainless. <laughs> Clarity also promised, if he becomes premier, to sell off several unnecessary Ontario fixtures, like the TV Ontario Network, the Provincial Liquor Control Board, and Toronto Mayor Mel Lastman. <laughs> A computer hard drive containing vital information on the Hoover Dam has been stolen. The FBI's number one suspect is known terrorist Osama bin Beaver. <laughs> Cartooning legend Chuck Jones, creator of such characters as Wiley e. Coyote, has passed away. His final words? <laughs> Services for Chuck Jones were held at the Acme Funeral Home. <laughs> the Hubble Space Telescope is getting a makeover. NASA claims once the work is complete, the device will be so powerful it will even be able to spot a Stockwell Day supporter. <laughs> Canada's strong showing at the Winter Olympics has created a patriotic rush to buy Canadian flags. Meeting this demand has become all but impossible for our flag makers in Taiwan. <laughs> it's time now to salute our top newsmaker. It is, of course, for their unbiased work, the Olympic figure skating judges. <laughs> Here to observe and supervise the chicken cannon for this special target are Sergeant Ernie Parolin and Sergeant Lee Matheson from our Canadian Forces. <laughs> Ernie, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. What is your hometown? Princeton, British Columbia. Princeton, British Columbia. And uh, your unit? Princess Patricia's Canadian Line Infantry. Welcome to the show, Lee. Thank you. And what's your hometown? London, Ontario. London, Ontario. And your unit is? The Governor General's Foot Guards in Ottawa. The Governor General's Foot Guards in Ottawa. So I guess there's just the two of you. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Begin proceedings. Bring on the cannon. Load the ammunition. Our ammunition, rotten eggs, pond scum, some slime, Alpo in honor of the judges seeing eye dogs. For the French judge, some quiche and bologna. Some salmon because Something definitely was fishing. <laughs> and to top it off, a maraschino cherry. <laughs> and when ready, fire! What do you say, judges? <laughs> That's what I call a perfect six. If you would like to send our troops in Afghanistan an email or a postcard with a hug from home, now you can. What's that website, Sergeant? www.dnd.ca, sir. And what do they click on, Sergeant? Right to the troops, sir. Good job. The Chicken Cannon, bringing figure skating judges their just desserts. CTV News with Sandy Bernard.
Good evening. I'm Sandy Ronaldo. Lloyd Robertson with normal colored hair. <laughs> the Winter Olympics are over, and Canadians can go back to complaining there's nothing good on television. <laughs> the big story at the Salt Lake City Games was the David Peltier, Jamie Salet saga. Joining me is the alleged corrupt French ice skating judge, Marie Ren Lagoon. Hello, Miss Lagoon. Bonjour, Sandy. I'm sorry, I can hear you, but I can't see you. <laughs> Is that better? Not really. You Canadians, you are never satisfied. First it is too dark, I cannot see you. And then it is, I do not like the color of my metal. <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone? And good day to you too, Ms. Lagoon. <laughs> you signed a statement indicating you were pressured to vote for Russia, and now you've changed your story. Uh, those allegations are completely false. There is no connection between me and Russia. Just put it over there with the others. <laughs> Miss Lagoon, I have a copy of your signed statement. Oh, Sandy, when I signed that letter, I was under, um, how do you say, uh, emotional duress. The old world was out to get me. However, I did receive one letter of support. Dear marie you go girl. Tell them all to go themselves. <laughs> Love, Mike Tyson. <laughs> What do you think about the decision to give Saleh and Peltier gold medals? What do I think about it? C'est oui, ni Canadien, c'est toute la propagande des médias. Je suis rendu malade par cet événement. Et pourquoi moi? Pourquoi? <laughs> Or as they say in your English Canada, way to go, eh? <laughs> so, have you had any contact with Saleh and Peltier since the competition? Oui, to show there were no hard feelings, they sent me a lovely gift basket. They even had it personally delivered by Tanya Harding. <laughs> well, now that your name is synonymous with scandal and your days in the International Skating Union are finished, what are you going to do? It's really quite simple, Sandy. With my damaged reputation, I'm a shoo-in for the Vice President of the International Olympic Committee. <laughs> An Olympic moment. Ski jump. Now, these Olympic Games has seen more security than all previous games. Now, here comes Norwegian skier Yanni Akbukinen down the run. <laughs> This has been an Olympic moment. He's traveled the world representing our nation. He is the Prime Minister of Canada. He's visited the Far East and other compass directions. He's hardly ever been ordered to leave a foreign country. And now the highlights of his latest European trip are available on a brand new CD. The Jean Chrétien, okay for sure on that, has Canada got the deal for you's trade mission tour. You'll hear the Prime Minister sing all his recent tunes, like this familiar Russian melody. You give us vodka, we give you timber, cause we think you're so swell, we'll throw in Nortel. Jean Chrétien's music will grab you by the throat. Canada, Canada, the best country around. Not only are we for sale, we're also marked down. Hey! You will hear the Prime Minister during his most emotional moment of the tour. Visit like Lennon Tomb is a very immovable experience. He was my favorite Beatle. <laughs> yes, you will hardly be able to believe he's our Prime Minister. And wait until you hear his stirring tribute to Germany. Germany is a great place. Even though they started World War II. 
This fabulous CD contains all the greatest hits from the Prime Minister's European Trade Mission Tour that raised over $400 in new contracts. Order now and receive these memorable selections. We've got Skidoo coming out the wazoo. Berlin is okay, but it need more golf-like courses. Every time I eat sauerkraut, I think of Cornwall. Yes, we have no Deutschmarks. If Russia is such a great place, how come all their hockey players move to Canada? And that's a lot of Bolshoi. Plus, you'll get this all-time family favorite. In Munich is an opera house right next to Starbucks. The Jean Chrétien, okay for sure on that has Canada got a deal for you's trade mission tour. Never has one man done so much for so few. This TV is for you. In. He shoots! He scores! Now, now wait one minute. There seems to be some question about that goal. The red light did not go on. It was clearly a goal for the Canadians. What is the problem? Oh no, it's the French goal judge. She refuses to acknowledge Canada's perfect goal. How could she possibly justify her decision? Wait a second, she's posting the technical marks for that goal. I can't believe this. She's given the Canadians the low mark of 3.1 for technical merit. Now, here come the marks for artistic interpretation. This is incredible. Look, oh, she's conferring with the, the Russian goal judge. I believe she's going to change her mark. She lowered it. What can you expect from a judge whose country thinks snails are food? This has been an Olympic moment. Off the record, the sports talk show that's almost like a real program. <laughs> Hello, I am Michael Landsberg and... <laughs> God, you're good. <laughs> okay, let's welcome our guest, the head of the International Skating Union, the man at the heart of the Olympic judging scandal, Mr. Ottavio Cinquanta. Hey, pasta fazul, nice to be here, Mike. <laughs> you can leave my bribe in my dressing room. Also joining us, former Spice Girl and singer-like personality, Jerry Hollowell. Absolutely smashing to be here, Martin. I've always been a fan of sporting games, like bingo, lawn darts, and strip poker. And rounding out the panel, TV personality, the Zoom Zoom Kid. Zoom Zoom. All right, should be a good show today. Let's start with the Olympics. Figure skating judges, are they corrupt? Otavio. Hey, uh, no way is it how you would say a crooked. Those uh, judges were personally handpicked by uh, me and uh, Don King. <laughs> no corruption there, Jerry Hollow. Personally, I quite like the men's ski uniforms. They're so tight, you get to see the whole package. <laughs> it's like window shopping. <laughs> But the best way to bring peace to the world is to get everyone to wear more earth tones. And all countries should have free access to waterproof mascara. <laughs> okay. Zoom, zoom, kid, your thoughts. Zoom, zoom. Good point. Okay, NHL playoffs, they're coming. Otavio, who is going to win hockey's Stanley Cup? I don't know. I have not fixed it yet. <laughs> Jerry, your thoughts on the cup? Mm, I usually wear a double D. <laughs> NHL hockey. Oh, well, well, that's quite brilliant, actually. Especially those ice hockey uniforms, stunning colors. But frankly, they should do more accessorizing. In fact, I've written a song about it. <laughs> 
You've got to access all right. Okay, that's that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Thank you. Whew. Your thoughts on the NHL, Zoom Zoom Kid. Zoom. Okay. Uh, I'm a don't think he's a finish. Zoom. I wish I'd said that. Okay, baseball spring training has started. Can the Toronto Blue Jays go all the way, Jerry? Oh, well, actually, I prefer English football, what you chaps call soccer. My fantasy is to make love to Manchester United at halftime. I adore men. I love spending time with them. And it's actually my favorite thing is to make love wearing nothing but saran wrap and a couple of postage stamps. I know. <clears throat> I know this intimate restaurant. What kind of girl do you take me for? No, just because I flashed you my panties and rubbed my legs suggestively doesn't mean you have a shot at Hallowell Heaven. <laughs> Yes, uh, well, uh, <clears throat> zoom, zoom, kid. Can the Jays get to the World Series? One zoom for yes, two zooms for no. Zoom, zoom. Zoom. Are you capable of doing anything other than saying zoom, zoom? <laughs>